Hello, ABCers. This is Ed Pullen, and I am going to show you a cool way I have learned to study up for going to a new area. I am going to show you how to use eBird to do that. It's, uh, for me, uh, easier and more specific than flipping through a field guide, uh, bird guide, you know, North American birds or bird guide to Costa Rica, wherever you're going, uh, is a great way to learn all the birds, but it just can be so many birds and so hard for me that sometimes it's just difficult. So I'm gonna show you a different way to be more specific. So I'm gonna hit share screen and I'm gonna to go to eBird. Share. Uh, so I'm on my eBird page and it's helpful to sign in. It works best if you're signed in as your to your account. And then it's helpful if you know where you're gonna go. So I know that this spring, I'm gonna to go to New Orleans. So I'm gonna hit explore. And I know that the county there is Orleans. I'm gonna to go to the Orleans County area and I'm gonna to go to hotspots. And I've looked already, and I know that one place I definitely want to go to is Bayou Sauvage National Wildlife Refuge. And I've looked at the choices here, and this is a good one to use, even though they don't like you to use it, I guess, to just see what birds have seen there. So I use that, and then I hit target species. Now, I've never been there. And target species defaults to that hotspot. Here we go, target species thinking goes to that hotspot and it wants to show you the species that I have not seen at the Bayou Sauvage National Wildlife Refuge throughout the whole year. Now I'm going to be there in April so I'm going to change this to custom for April and I want to want, find the ones that I haven't seen there for my life list which is all of the birds that have been seen there in April. So I'm going to hit show target list and here we are. So some of these birds I don't really need to study, but it gives me an idea of what I can expect to see. I'll see a red-winged blackbird, a great egret, tricolored heron, snowy egret, going through. I pretty much know these birds. Are there any black-bellied whistling duck? I know that bird, but I wouldn't mind just touching up on it. So here's black-bellied whistling duck. Or, oh, I remember that's the one with big white flashes in the wings. Fulvous whistling duck doesn't have those big white flashes. I remember that now. And it gives a little detail about it. If you want to hear the bird, you can do that. So let's go back to the list. Morning Dove Cardinal, Black Neck Still, nothing I don't know pretty well so far. Model Duck. Okay, Model Duck, that's one of those split off mallard, can be a little tricky. So I'm going to just look at that again. Okay, Model Duck, unlike American Black Duck, doesn't have the real sharp cutoff for the neck. It's got the little white under the wing patch, under the wing linings, that's helpful. Kind of talks about it can listen to it again. So another one to do there. Uh, and we'll kind of continue through. I know all these birds. Here we go. Yellow crown night here. And I know that, but I, I'm going to just look at it. Um, okay. The juvenile is the hard one on that. So I'm going to look at the juvenile picture. Okay. Very cool. Okay, good. I'm going to go back to the list. And you can just go through the whole list. For me, this is especially helpful uh, when I'm going to a place that I really don't know the birds. I just got back from Costa Rica. Uh, and when I was going to Costa Rica, I went to Monteverde. And uh, so you can go, you can also just go to hotspots. Monteverde, uh, Cloud Forest Preserve, uh, and uh, I didn't go to the Monteverde Lodge. I, I've been to the Monteverde Cloud Forest Reserve and I use that so that it won't give me all the birds there, but let's just pick a, a place near Monteverde. Uh, oh, let's just hit this one, for example, and hit the view the details and hit target species. Takes a second to get this up because it's a big list here probably. Uh, but we're good. We'll get it in a second. Here's target species. Uh, so uh, these are the ones that I need, and I have, don't have any checklists from there. So it's a great way to do it when you haven't been there before, if you pick up a, a spot in the area. So brown jay, northern emerald toucanet, lessons mot mot. Uh, again, 
I know some of these birds, but you can study them this way, just brown jay. Okay, that's what it looks like. Can hear what it sounds like. Go back, next bird on the list, Northern Emerald Toucanat. Wow, I've seen these, they are a spectacular bird. Look at those colors, holy mackerel. Gets me excited about going back next time. Get, and they call incessantly. It's helpful to know their call. Very cool. Uh, so you can just go through your list. I find this a really helpful way to study. Uh, are there any birds here I haven't seen? Let's see. Oh, these violet saber wings. I'm going to show you pictures just because they, they are the coolest. They're the biggest hummingbird in the Mesoamericas, and they are stunning. Uh, you'll see those if you go there. But I find this a really helpful way to study because it helps me learn the common birds. You know, I, everybody wants to find the rare birds, but it really helps to know the common birds. I did get to see Costa Rican warbler while I was there. I thought it's such a shame to have my daughter live in Costa Rica and I'd never seen a Costa Rican warbler. I got to see a bunch of these in the Monte Verde area when I was there last week. Very cool. Uh, so anyway, I just thought that that is a really, for me, helpful way to study the birds. So again, just to review, you go to a hotspot that's near where you're gonna be going or ideally the one you're gonna be going to, uh, go to the complete, uh, uh, the, go to the details of that hotspot, click on target birds. You wanna choose a month here there, that will narrow it down a little bit uh, and review the most common birds to be seen where you're going. So a great way to bone up on the common. And if you want not common, depends how far down the list you get, species of a place you're going. So I found that very helpful. I hope you do.